And it's going to be tricks. That's going to be men's ace tricks. First one on the water is going to be Rick Stenson. Rick is from Minnesota. Daughter's with him, Riley. She's down here training most of the summer here at the World Barefoot Center. She'll be down there cheering her dad on. Rick's got a personal best of 1850. We will not be doing a boat crew change, by the way it looks here. So we're going to get right on into the uh, the next group. We were told from the boat that Rick Stenson missed his toe up. And he didn't get the start there, so he got a score of zero, unfortunately. So a toe up, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the ways we can start. That's where you start your, with your foot in the handle. A little toe strap at the front there. Boat gets up to speed. You stand up on one foot. That's worth 400 points. There's a multitude of other ways we can start. That's one pretty popular that one in a dock start now if you look down there when they're uh, when the boats going down there you see some scaffolding with another one of our wonderful sponsors footing.com we'd like to thank them again 
But you can also start from the top of that scaffolding and do a leap off of there. Now Rick Stenson, we'll see what he decides to do, if he's going to come in backwards or forwards here. Looks like he's going to be rolling over. He's going to be doing his backwards run. Line is tight. Boat's taking off. He's up and he's outside the wake. That's a 200-point 200, 200 start getting up backwards. Bouncing around a little bit. We have a little bit of ro uh, rollers down on that end, but by the time we're up to speed, it's all gone for you. Oh, he does a back to front. There, he got David back to front. That's worth 200. Going to do a front to back. Oh, yeah, and he's got it. Nice. It's two, four, 600 points there. Uh, 650, actually. I'm sorry. Rick's PB is 1850. He's not going to make that. But he had the handle coming on back to the dock. Next on the water will be Zenimbilis. Zenimbilis is from down in uh, the West Palm Beach, Fort Myers area. Six fifty. All right, this just in. Rick Stenson got himself a 650-point run there on his back run. He won't be happy with that, I'm sure of it. But next on the water, we got a cut here. Thomas Coco, Tom Coco, if you guys don't know him, he's been out for about three years due to injury. Came down, was practicing, and got himself a calf injury. He's a cut now. Unfortunately, I'd like to see him ski. I haven't seen him ski in a, f in a few years. But on the water now is going to be Zenon Bielas. Zenon Bielas has been in the sport a long time. He hails from down there in the uh, Fort Myers, or I'm not sorry, uh, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach area. His personal best is going to be 2320. Looks like Zen and Velas is going to be doing the tower start here. That's a 100-point bonus start for that, and then it depends what he does. So he can do a uh, a tower start to two feet, which is going to be uh, so. There's a tower start, and he's going to roll. Not sure what he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys will not believe who is in my presence right now. Brett Acros Payne. The foot and dot com master himself. He's looking he's looking very stylish in them peach shorts. They do not make your butt look big, by the way. 
Thank you very much for bringing yourself out here and doing everything you set up. Looks like everything's working great. Your boat sounds wonderful. Yeah. H- how you doing? Doing great. F- happy to be here. Got a million things going on. Trying to make sure everything's going uh, smoothly for the live stream. So right now I'm going to go get a second mic so you can just talk to somebody instead of just listen to you yammer the whole time. That sounds good. I'd like that a lot. How about you come up here and help me out yabbering? Yeah, I'll be more than happy to. More than happy to come up and help. But i got to get a mic. So let me go find that and get some other stuff done, and I'll be back. All right, buddy. We'll see you in a little bit. That there's Brett Payne, big sponsor for us. If you look out on our jump, footin.com, that's Brett Payne. I highly suggest you go to footin.com, sign up, get to know every one of us. Don Stokes, he's in. He got done with his skiing today. Come on over here, Don. Yeah, you can talk to him in a minute. He's busy. How was the water out there? You look pretty good. Oh, the water was beautiful out there. No, it's a nice course out here, beautiful lake uh, there. Um, just got to come in on the timing there because when I started out there, um, I was uh, cheek walking out to the left there, and I want to see if the boat held a perfectly straight course because I ended up going out to the right and then crossing to, to start, and I started my time as soon as I should to get to the other side. So I just got to see if they can do a video review and start me from the red ball they told me to wait till. So we'll talk to the chief judge, and if it goes, uh, if the boat deviated, I'm sure he'll do it, and if the boat didn't, I'm sure he won't. So we'll find out on uh, a review on it. You know? Yep, Dale Stevens one to talk to. So. Standing behind you over there is Lexi McCauley. She's looking very purplish today. The snozzberries taste like snozzberries yesterday, did they? <laughs> Lexi McCauley is one of our elites. Depends who you ask. Bet if I ask your mom and dad, they say you are. Well, to clarify things up here on the Zen and Bela start down there, uh, he, uh, when you got to tell the boat to go in gear and then you got to say boat go, if you do not do that, the boat just goes in gear. And if you don't have that handle, that's it. Well, he never said go and he jumped off and the boat never took off. Therefore, you do not get to start that. That is a no pass. So you get a zero. Yeah. Zen and Belis has elected not to run his second pass. So the, go- the boat goes down and back as if it was pulling somebody to make the conditions fair for the next skier who's going to be on the way is going to be Blake Ehlers. Down there with his dog, Odie, his fan club that's in here will be uh, Landon Big Dog Ehlers, his son, his beautiful daughter-in-law. We call her Lauren Ehlers. All the way from Austin, Texas. Blake is looking to beat his personal best of 2,500. Blake does do a toe up. And uh, I'm not too sure what his, what his run will be. Sporting the USA suit down there, looking really good. And for all you guys would like to pass on the information and tell everybody what we're doing, you can go to Facebook slash Acros TV. Facebook.com slash Acros TV for the live stream coverage. I know a lot of people on site are watching the boat cam televisions, but we do have other cameras uh, that you can see if you go to the live stream. So there's an advantage to seeing it on the live stream versus the TVs that are uh, currently on display. But maybe we'll get a TV up of the live stream version instead of just the boat, too. We'll look into that. Uh, looks like Blake's going to start off with a, uh, a back-flying dock start. Nice start. He's got himself a good plant. Boat's coming up to speed. 
And that there, I believe, is 250 points. As you wait throw up, you got a back hop, a one foot, one foot toe hold, one foot toe hold, one foot one hand, one foot one hand, and we run out of lake. Looked like a pretty tidy run there for Blake. We'll wait for the official score coming in from the uh, chief scores in the boat. Blake Ehlers in the Ehler family. Blake Ehlers, first pass, 1 1 5 0. Not a bad pass for him. He's, uh, he's going to have to get some work done here if he's going to get that 2,500. I'm not too sure what his front pass runs. His front pass is. Blake Learlers are going to be coming in for his front run here. He'll be doing a toe up. I'm being told from the uh, the lovely Lauren that he's going to do a toe up. He'll do a side slide, a couple toe holds, and some tumble turns. Nice toe up worth 400 there. Side slide. Tumble to one, tumble to one, 180 to one, 180 to one, nice, toe hold, one foot, one hand, one foot, one hand, nice. Uh, Changing his run, he's made 2,500 points, three tournaments in a row, so keep telling him, time to change it up, put some turns in there. Put some turns in there, they say. Have you recovered from your turn day down there in Conroe? We're good. Next, next one will take it. <laughs> Funniest line in that boat that day. We were, we were going down there. If you guys didn't know, we were down in Conroe, Texas, one of the best ski sites I've ever been to in my life. Got to thank the Stevenson family for allowing us to go down there. Afterwards, we're in this beautiful, beautiful lake, just picturesque. Everything that says America on it was there. Lauren was going out. She's practicing her tumble turns, and she was taking an utter munting. And for you guys that don't know what a munting is, that's, a, that's worse than a beating. And uh, I can't remember who's the guy in there. That, uh, what's, what's the uh, owner's son's name? Will. Will, and then there was the other guy. Uh, Austin. Austin. Austin and Brett both know exactly what you mean. Yes, Austin. Austin says... <laughs> Austin says Twenty-three fifty, twenty-three fifty for Blake Ehlers. A little bit short of his twenty-five hundred, but he's got to be happy with that. Next on the water is going to be Rich Kaufman from the uh, from the uh, Eastern Region. Rich doesn't do a toe up, but he will get up, and he's going to be doing a lot of turns. He does threes, he does fives. Wait for the boat to get up to speed. 
And front to back. Unless that's a positional. Ah, you got a couple trees in there. And a five. Ah, we got it. Nice. So back to the story there. Lauren was just getting beat. I think it was Austin <laughs> turns to land and he says, well, there's one good thing. You won't have to beat your wife tonight. I thought we were all going to fall out of the boat laughing. <laughs> but then you hit the front to back, which was awesome. I had to show them up. They both had done their first back to fronts on their feet, so I had to go out there and do my front to back for the first time. That was a great tournament. Outstanding tournament there. I don't recommend all you barefooters out there. I do not recommend you guys missing that tournament at all. Great people, great site, great town. Absolutely amazing there. So, Chris, there is a rumor that 2021 Nationals will be at that site. Don't miss that, people. Do not miss that. Could be earlier, but I guess the head people in Austin are leaving for a while. Yeah, we're taking a, just a real quick sabbatical for <laughs> 18 months. We, Landon and I, are going leaving from Canada Worlds, and we'll meet back up with you at Australia Worlds in 2020. In between, we'll be traveling around backpacking. Rich Kaufman's first pass, 1,500. Uh, he got cut on the, the five was out of time, and he got cut on one of his uh, one of his threes in there. He got credit for two threes and uh, four 180s. Rich is going to roll over. He's going to come in backwards. And he's up. I'm not sure what he does on his back run here, Lauren. Oh, oh what a head stacker. But we got a hand. That's a good sign. Jason Lee's going to make an emergency stop. Way to go, Jason. Get back there to that skier. Oh, making him do the swim of shame. Rich Kaufman. Total score. 1700. We'll see how he fares for the uh, divisional finals. I don't know if 1700 is going to get him in the top five. Got some heavy hitters coming up now. Mark McCauley's really been practicing. He's been doing well. He's got a personal best of 2770, and he's the next one that's on the water. Good heavens, ladies and gentlemen. We are graced with his presence. Ben Groen himself, the Kiwi heartthrob. I wouldn't sleep with him, but uh, he is a good-looking man. Got a good view of him right now, the back half. Well, we got a, a pause here in the action. You can see our uh, chief judge down there, Dale Stevens, talking to the boat crew. As you can see Mark McCauley sitting there getting ready to go. You're getting a bum shot here of... Uh, been growing he's gonna be putting some uh, scores in front of me and stuff like that so I don't sound like a bumbling idiot it's not gonna help while we got this time I'd also like to thank another one of our sponsors if you haven't noticed when you've uh, when you drove in and uh, if you can't see it because you're watching it on uh, on our television on our live stream USA water ski has had a big facelift and a transformation Action Water Sports has taken over. 
It's a Mastercraft water dealership. They're based out of Michigan. Grand Rapids, Fenton, and now down here. They got a beautiful site. Yeah. Beautiful site. And uh Action Water Sports sells Mastercrafts. As you come in, you'll see a bunch of beautiful Mastercrafts on the right-hand side as you're driving into this beautiful site here. I think they will be fully operational here shortly. They've got a bunch of gentlemen over there working and paving the, uh, paving the parking lot over there. Looks like they got their maintenance building up and running. It's looking really good over there. We'd like to thank Action Water Sports and the Action Water Sports teams for uh, allowing us this lake. You can buy yourself a Mastercraft and come on out and test it out on these waters. All right, we have Mark McCauley on the water. It just so happens we have his wonderful daughter, Lexi McCauley, right here standing next to us. What would you like to say to your dad as he starts off? Uh, good luck. <laughs> An awesome good luck from Lexi McCauley to her dad. We have lots of uh, father-daughter skiing here today. It's pretty exciting. Mark's going to cop out to the driver's side and start with a toe up here. And oh. there's 400 points. Beautiful toe up by Mark McCauley. Here we go. Solid front pass from Mark McCauley. That was a nice tidy pass for him. <coughs> look good, look clean. We'll see what the judges see inside that boat. All right, I just heard a rumor from his daughter that Mark will be doing three turns in his back pass. Beautiful day here today. Looks like that, that big storm cloud looks like it's going to push off to the north. That'll be nice. We can get some of our stuff in, but you guys notice the winds are picking up a little bit. Supposed to have southwest winds. Typical Florida weather this time of the year. Mark's giving his instructions here for his back pass. So Mark McCauley's first pass, 1120, 11.20 for his first pass. He's gonna have to pick it up here to get that 27.70. Line's coming tight here. Mark will be rolling over, coming in for his back pass. And he's up. Establishes barefoot skiing position. That's worth 200 points. Looks like he's going to be loading the line. Doubles your points here, ladies and gentlemen. One foot, one foot, each one of those 200, and a hop. Nice hop. Ooh. Nice. Wow, nice. Beautiful. Wow, 
Wow, nice run. Nice run out of him. Three good turns there. Line step, 1-1 one, one hop. They all look good in there. Well, we'll wait for that provisional score. Next on the water is going to be Jim Forrester. Jim Forrester's from uh, West Palm Beach. He puts on the uh, wonderful tournament, our first tournament of the year down here in the southern region, the PGA. Great site on the canal. Highly recommended, especially if you've never done a tournament before, would like to do a tournament. Come on down there. It's a really cool atmosphere, pretty laid back. It's a great place to get your start. I got my start there, and... It was kind of like a drug, and now I'm addicted to it. And it, it was a great start for me, and Jim puts on a great site, and there's a great crew of people down there. The water's always perfect Jim and warm. Forrester. Jim Forrester's personal best is going to be 2,800. Jim's been in the sport for a while. Jim is also our chief driver. He's responsible for getting all of our boats ready, making sure the plates are set so we have that beautiful table on the back of that boat, making sure the props are all set. The speedos are working, the zero off is working. That's a lot of work. Jim's in here usually till 10 o'clock at night, some nights working. So Chris McWatters right here is our chief safety, and I heard you get on to Jim Forster a little bit yesterday uh, for skiing without a wetsuit. I can neither confirm nor deny any of those things that have taken place, for I was not in attendance at that time. <laughs> I am chief safety from the moment that this par party begins. All right, all right, all right. But as a barefooter, we always know you never waste a crowd. Jim will get up and he'll do a toe up. He'll do four turns. I think he does some toe holds. And I think that's what he does. We got a little pause in the accent. I'm not sure what's going on down there. Looks like we're going to be dropping Dale Stevens back off. You guys can tell we got a we got a new ship to shore, and uh, recommended, highly recommended from Rob Groen, and the Groen family. They use it over there in Aust in uh, New Zealand, bringing you these crystal clear pictures. Now we have a little bit of. A little bit of dropout, but we have a, a lot of clutter. If you don't know the lake very well, you get down to that other corner. It's it's amazing we can hold the signal we hold. Jim Forrester's in the water giving his instructions. Most likely he'll be starting forward doing his toe up. Line's tight, coming up to speed. Welcome. 
Jim Forrester's going out on the driver's side. Going to be doing his toe up. Nice toe up there worth 400 points. Front to back. Back to front. Oh, it still counts. Couple toe holds, not sure if that last one's gonna make it or not in time, but he had to handle it both ends. I saw him shaking his head there. He's not real happy with that uh, last back to front there. I'm sure of that. Luckily, it still is credit. It is just a time delay because it takes I shall return. Thank you. Fourteen hundred points for Jim, as we suspected that last toe hold was out of time. Get the toe up four turns and one toe hold. Jim starts up backwards. I can't really remember what his back run is. But it looks like his 2800 is within reach. While we're waiting for Jim to come in for his backwards run, we'd also like to thank the World Barefoot Center, another one of our key sponsors. World Barefoot Center is responsible for a lot of our training. And they're a very, very, very good school with very, very, very good instructors. Come on down here and book in, get yourself a lesson. You'll get to ski with uh, legendary Ben Groen, Ashley Stebbings, David Small, or Keith St. Ange. And you'll meet the legend himself, Swampy Bouchard. Swampy's always in attendance. Maybe you'll get one of his uh, famous bear hugs. Sign the wall. See the wall that everybody has signed. What? Jim Forster. Beautiful sight, beautiful boats, a lot of fun there. Beautiful water all the time. Jim Forrester's coming in for his back run. He rolls over. He's getting up. He's going to be popping out onto the passenger side, getting up backwards, barefoot skiing position. We're 200 points. Looks like he's going to load the line here. Pulls it in tight. He's got to get started. There's one foot, one foot. Gets out. Toe hold. Oh. Come on, Jim. There it is. There you go. And we're out of lake. Not sure he's going to get that one in time. He started late. Maybe ran out of lake before he ran out of time. We're going to wait for the uh, report. Ashley Stebbings will be in here quickly to give me that report. I'll let you know. But he's looking to get 1,400 out of that. He's going to be very close. My calculations are right. He's going to be short by 400. And that is if they give him that last toe hold. While I'm waiting for that score, next on the water will be... Logan Holster. He comes down from Orange Park, which is up by Jacksonville. He skis up on the Black Creek. Hey guys, John Travis here at Sunset Lakes. We've got some drone racers coming out today to have fun with us. Don't know if I'm scared, nervous. I have no idea what's going to happen. They're really
really fast. The thing goes like 130 miles an hour. He's having a good time. I mean, look at this flat water. Gorgeous day. These crazy ass drones. Like he's doing a bunch of tricks. I saw it drop right near a buoy. Found it. Pretty easy. I just know that it's something that people outside the sport want to see. Nobody knows where Aklawaha is. It's over by the villages. Logan Walters is getting out on the driver's side. He'll be doing a tow up. This first, oh, that's going to be close on that. Not sure he showed his hands. He's going to do a tow hold here. Another tow hold. Should get into some turns here. Sets up, front to back. Back to front, gotta get busy. Oh, he's a little happy with that one. Logan's been, Logan's been at the World Barefoot Center for most of the summer training. His turns have really come along there. They look a lot better. They're looking a lot better than what they were at the beginning of the year, so that training is paying off. Logan's nickname is Manchild. Now, if you've never seen Logan, Logan, I think, just turned 16, maybe he turned 17. And when we first met this young fella, he had more facial hair than most people do. He had a full beard. He looked like Sasquatch. Then we found out later on he's actually the second Manchild. The original Manchild is from Australia. Twelve fifty for his uh, provisional score on his front run. Logan will be coming in backwards for this next one. Pretty sure he loads the line. He'll do a one foot or a one one hop, and then he's got a couple more turns he can get into there. He's going to be looking to beat that twenty nine hundred score. Oh, I'm being corrected here. Ashley Stebbing said now we are at 1150. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of ground to make up here. Ben Groen's out working on the ramp. Logan's giving his instructions. Winds are picking up. He rolls on over. Gets himself a steady plant there. Gets his bum up off the water and he gets himself into a barefoot skiing position, 200 points. I suspect he'll be loading the line here. Takes a rope between his legs. He'll pick up a foot, a couple of them, and then do a hop as well. One foot, one foot. Whoa. Not sure about that hop there on that one. Toe hold. That's 200. Toe hold, 200. One foot, one hand. Ran out of lake. Don't think he's going to be happy with that. I, think he's not, I don't think he probably got that one foot, and I don't think he got the hop either. Easy being the Monday quarterback up here. So you're on that water and you try to do a hop, you think you got five feet in the air and you really got one inch in the air. 
wait for the provisional score for Logan Walters. While we're doing that, we're going to wait. We're going to get to see Jim Youngblood. Jim Youngblood comes from Michigan. And uh, he skis up there with uh, Tom Toko and... Uh, He will not be happy with that. About 800 short of his PB. Jim Youngblood will be coming on here. Like I was saying, he skis with uh, Tom Toko. He also skis with Matt Mahalski. And uh, be fun to watch Jim. Jim is one of the guys that will be doing flips out here. So if you guys get a chance, you can watch that. It's something unique to watch. Looks very violent, but he's pretty good at them. It's a fun watch. That's a fun trick to watch. I don't like to perform them. Don't want to perform them. Jim Youngblood's personal best, 32.50. He's the top seed in this uh, division, men's A. He'll be starting out, coming in for a toe hold, or I'm sorry, a toe up here. Out to the passenger side he is, getting ready to do his toe up. Oh, there you go, Jim. Nice toe up, worth 400 points. Is it on? Uh, like we do Testing. a tumble to one. Another tumble to one. Yep. Nice, Jim. Here we go into these flip. Whoa. Nice flip, Jim. Wow. Another car get by. We get a toe hold. One foot, one hand, one foot, one hand. Somersault flip, two foot, worth 700 points there. Not sure what he got in time, but you're looking at 700, 400, 200, 200. Lost about piece. 1,600 right there, I think. It depends what else they got. Jim Youngblood's been in this sport a long time. He's given a lot back to it. He used to be a promo guy with a barefoot nautique back in the day. Hauled that boat all over, and conditions were never that great in the Midwest. Uh, he's been not only a skier, but uh, always been given back to the sport. Uh, part of the big group of Midwest skiers that at one time was 150 strong at tournaments. Water conditions getting a little chippy, if you can see it on the screen. And uh, that makes it a little more difficult for our skiers, even as good as some of these guys are. Uh, we would love to see ourselves in a mirror on the water, but we have to ski what we get. So right now we got a provisional score for uh, Jim Youngblood, 1,400. Nice. <laughs> Anyone in the crowd have guacamole or uh, salsa or some nachos for Chris McWaters? He's, uh, he's famished here at the announcing stand. I'm going to put it on my hat. Anybody in the audience uh, from afar, it can be FedExed into us. It would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Jim Youngblood will be coming in for a backwards pass. He's got some ground to make up here. He hit that 32.50 mark. I'm not too sure what his back run is. I do know he'll do a uh, – he does – he's been known to do some turns. I don't know how many he does. But it looks like he's got a back toe hold handle on there. Rolls on over. And he's up and he's butting out. He's getting on out to the passenger side. There's a 200 points there. There's a hop. One foot. One foot. Toe hold. And a back to front. And he runs out of time. So 
So we'll be waiting for the provisional score from Jim Youngblood here. Then we're going to be taking a break. We're going to be doing a crew change here. We're going to need drivers Landon Ehlers, judges Blake Ehlers, Shannon Carlson, Rich Youngblood. Need to be down on the dock. Got to jump in the boat. Videographer Lexi McCauley, Jerry Canoy. Blake, you guys are scorers, and dock starter Sammy Eaton, you're down on the dock. We'll wait for that provisional score, then we're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. Back with Depot's attitude.